And as the military is pledging to defend democracy and tackle troublemakers in the build-up to the May the 29th handover date, some Nigerians from various ethnic groups under the aegis of the natives held a peaceful walk to the Independent National Electoral Commission. Their message is that they will resist any form of threats against democracy in Nigeria. Habida Lawal reports. The conduct of the 2023 general elections has brought up divergent views, but many political observers believe the call by some protesters for the sack of the chairman, Independent National Electoral Commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, is unnecessary. This group is at the INEC headquarters to thank the commission for standing firm against intimidation, propaganda and all forms of blackmail by the people they describe as bad losers. They insist that Nigerians went out on the 25th of February to vote for a candidate and who eventually won is the choice of the majority. They are the languages. Addressing newsmen in the presence of INEC officials, convener of the natives, Smart Edwards cautions politicians to stop inciting Nigerians against themselves and the democratic process. Some people have been going around the country inciting, calling for a taboo, which they call interim national government. That will never happen, not in Nigeria, not in every, any African country that we support. Responding while receiving a prepared letter addressed to the INEC chairman, the Commission's Director of Security, Lebari Undu, assured that INEC will continue to do its constitutional roles without bias or favor. On behalf of the management of Independent National Electoral Commission, that your message will be delivered to the chairman. It's not going to pass through any other source. The director of security himself will personally take it and deliver it to the honorable chairman, who is my direct boss. The group, as described as unpatriotic, calls for the removal and investigation of the INAC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu. They've also taxed security agencies that event leading to the presidential inauguration day is each free. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.